Hi, my name is Carl Oakes. I'm a path worker. After giving it a lot of thought, I decided that that's really all I want or need to say about myself. I'm doing this to respond to Laureen Dunn's um, call for kind of a resurrection or uh, resuscitation of the New York Regional Path Work, which was posted last year. I've thought about this for a long time and I feel like I'm ready to say something about it at this point. Uh, my intention is to stimulate a conversation among people who care about the New York Regional Pathwork and uh, hopefully to have that conversation maybe start here on YouTube where everybody who's interested can, can participate and can see what other people have to say and then eventually when we've kind of created a container for it to continue that conversation in private and uh, to use that as kind of the basis for, for uh, the new growth in the NYRP. Uh, I want to talk just really quickly about what my intended audience is here. Obviously, since it's on YouTube, anybody who wants to can see it. Um, but I'm not really addressing myself to people who don't have an interest in Pathwork uh, or to people who maybe have had a connection to Pathwork in the past, but um, who are done with it, who really don't have any kind of loose ends, have kind of moved on to other things and, uh, and, and don't need or want to revisit it. Um, the, the people I am talking to are, first of all, people like myself who have had a connection to Pathwork and who did get something out of it, who do uh, still feel connected to it and yet at the same time uh, feel, you know, maybe a sense of personal disappointment in the sense that they perhaps didn't get everything out of it that they, that they wanted to or that they felt that they could have and also feel a, a sense of disappointment about the condition of uh, not only the NYRP but really Pathwork throughout the world um, with the exception of Brazil I guess where it's thriving everywhere else it seems to be uh, withering. Um, so I'm talking to you, uh, the people who, who, who just kind of feel like there was something there that some promise that didn't get fulfilled. I'm also talking to people who are still connected to the bathwork, who are still connected to the NYRP, um, who still are actively trying to uh, kind of bring it back online and, and, and have it be a thriving community. Uh, the one other group of people that that leaves out um, that I want to talk about is people who have not yet been connected to the uh, to the path work, but who eventually are meant to be in this lifetime. Uh, and I am not reaching out to those people in this video. And uh, I, I want to talk a little bit about that because I, I think it's it's an important point for all of us to think about. Uh, there has been kind of, and by the way, I, I should say I, I'm going to try to do this in two parts. Uh, so that neither one of the videos is so long that I can't post it uh, and or too long that, it, that it's not going to keep people's attention. So in part one, I'm just going to kind of build up to what my kind of proposal is that we all think about doing and then, you know, we might modify it or we might uh, evolve towards some other kind of thing that we agree to do. And then in part two, I want to talk about kind of a caution kind of uh, something that I think it would be helpful for us to keep on the table, keep in front of us, stay aware of as we try to move forward because in my judgment it's the thing which potentially can undo us um, and that too might lead to a, a conversation where we decide that there's really six things we need to be aware of or whatever but um, you know both of these videos are intended really as catalysts for further conversation. But anyway, let me get back to this point of the, uh, this group of people who, who, have not, who have not yet been connected to Pathwork. Um, there, is, there has been in the past a kind of a theory that the real problem with the NYRP is that there was a lack of marketing skills. And if only, you know, we knew how to get out there. I'm going to say we, because even though I'm not connected to the NYRP on a day-to-day -day active level. I'm still definitely energetically and spiritually connected. So when I talk about the NYRP, I'm, I'm just going to include myself in that. 
so there's this belief that uh, if only we knew how to market, we would be able to attract people. And without going into a lot of detail about this, I don't want to hurt anybody's feelings or embarrass anybody, uh, but I think there have been two really good marketing opportunities in the past maybe year and a half or so where Pathwork was presented to a group of people who ought to have been uh, receptive. And in both cases, uh, not much happened. In, in one case, in the more recent case, uh, you know, maybe five months ago or something like that, there was, uh, there was a group of people who came and who checked it out and uh, who were perceived as being people who would be really open and receptive. And, um, you know, that didn't really materialize. So what that says to me is that we at this point are not ready to really credibly and effectively market ourselves to other people uh, because we have some unfinished of our uh, business of our own that we need to take care of first before we can do that. And um, one thing that particularly caught my attention about this was when I was kind of browsing the NYRP website and I came across something that said history and leadership or something along those lines and I read this passage. This is the description of the the history of the NYRP, or part of the history. After Ava's passing, the community underwent a period of drawing in as the energy for programs and new ventures diminished. The center was eventually sold. It is now the Menlo Retreat Center devoted to Tibetan Buddhism, and funds were held in trust for the future growth and development of the pathwork. Now, that may not be false, um, but it's, I don't think it's true either, in the sense that um, there's a lot there in the history of the past, you know, 20 years or so, if you're, if you lived it, or if you're, um, if you've talked to people who have lived it, you know that there's a lot that's been left out there. Um, and I think that, uh, you know, it's fairly understandable that when there are, you know, personal histories of personal conflicts and of, you know, financial reversals and all that kind of stuff, like, like there, there is in our case, um, that there would be a desire to kind of whitewash that a little bit, um, not to draw attention to that when we're kind of presenting ourselves to, to the public because it's stuff that's going to raise questions. Uh, but um, really, I think that what's happening here when we put something like this on our website is that we're really going out into the world without complete integrity in the false belief that it's necessary for us to do that. Now, we may not be able to attract people based on our history such as it is now. What does that mean we need to do? I think it means we need to write another chapter of our history to move forward just us together in some way which uh, will take us through a growth and an evolution where we're more able then to uh, credi credibly and appropriately attract new people into our midst where we have a community that they actually will benefit from belonging to for one thing and um, and oh shoot I forgot what and was well okay I'll just leave it there okay that, that uh, we what we oh that then we can uh, write about that or talk about that when we present ourselves to people um, and that whole story, you know, we went through this period of decline and conflict and, you know, we lost our center and all that, and then we did this next thing, and now we're here, that that whole story will actually be attractive to people. So let's live another chapter of our evolution uh, which will cause us to grow and which will give us a story which we're not afraid to tell, all right? That's really where I'm coming from. In, in this whole thing.